Welcome back to the third evening Cowboy Fashion Report. This evening I've got on a beautiful red pearl snap shirt, North Pearl Snaps. This shade of red is called Angel Heart. And it's a very seductive shade of red. If you're going to go to your local rodeo or county fair or beer joint wearing the Angel Heart, you probably want to take a can of woman repellent with you. It is very seductive. Well, I was out hunting mushrooms a while ago. I didn't find any damn mushrooms, but I found this old ancient Stone Age map of Texas. Look at that. Ain't that something? And you can tell how old it is because the panhandle done blowed off up here, and there's a pile of dirt. It's about as deep as the cow track back then. But right here in this area, right here, all oh, right in there, about the Pitchfork Ranch and the Croton Breaks, which was formed by Croton Creek. That's some of the roughest cow country I ever punched cows in and had a lot of fun there. Worked there two different springs. And 1990, I was barely 20 years old, and uh, Monty McCloy was wagon boss, and Monty, he kind of took me under his wing. Me and him still real good friends, uh, good a feller as you ever be around. And uh, Monty was running, and me and Finch, Kenneth Finch, and Brandon Lord, and Jimmy Bird was in the bunkhouse. And uh, Bobby Allen had South Camp. Bobby had been there 30-something years, and he's gone now. Good, good hand. Jody Edwards had North Camp, and uh, Jody, good friend of mine, he passed away too. Good hand. Uh, Gary Ferguson had purebred. Lynn Burleson had West Camp. Lynn's the good cow puncher that ever lived. He got hurt real bad several years ago. He's, he's getting around, but he's hurt. And uh, Marty Daniels had Croton. And for a little while, <laughs> Marty had a mishap <clears throat> at the uh, ranch rodeo that year down real. But I'll tell that in another episode. And then Nick Auker, Nick and Amy had Croton after that. Uh, Good fellers, all of them. Good hands, good fellers. And I, like I said, I was barely 20 years old. I, I caught lots of shit for making mistakes, and I made plenty of them. I think I got to see some places on that ranch that most white men have never seen following Kenneth Finch around, though. Uh, Kenneth is a little wild. But anyway, I, all the bullshit that went on, uh, I wrote a little poem about one of the stories they kind of tell you when you come here and you're fresh and green don't know sick them from come here it's always stuck with me so i wrote this poem it's called croton monkeys <clears throat> below the banks of the croton where the jip rocks are floating on that boggy west texas quicksand where the cedar flies bite you and the sun's heat will ignite you and mesquite thorns get stuck in your hand one of the tales i was told when i wasn't too old was about some critters that live in them breaks about some man-jumping monkeys that preyed on the flunkies that just didn't have what it takes. They were looking for loafers and short-minded gophers that tend to get lost on the drive. They'd jump on your shoulders like hair-covered boulders. You'd lucky to escape alive. It was hell to outrun them when they started coming. They'd just cut you off to pass. Your pleas went unheard. They can't understand words. To dodge them, you had to be really fast. Well, I always tried to keep up like an old, scared, lost pup. In that rough, broken, cow-punching land. I learned to ride up and shut up and get to the hold-up and do my best to make a good hand. Well, you'd crash through the cedars trying real hard to beat her, that old winch heading hard for the rim. Sometimes you got burned, but sometimes she'd turn. Then you felt like you earned your hat brim. Pretty soon, them old primates, they got so they was too late to ever make it up into your saddle. If you did one thing half right, you sure slept good that night thinking you was just born to punch cattle. Now them monkeys are still around, and like an old red bone hound, sometimes they'll be tracking behind you. Well, just whoop right and spur till you're moving like a blur, and maybe they won't ever find you. Y'all keep snapping. I'll see you next Thursday.